Making Graphs by Bridget Hales, illustrated by Katya Longi. A class is learning a lesson on making graphs and interpreting data. The class clown has some off-the-wall answers for the surveys. Says, so who is your favorite superhero? Your answer is data. Data means information. You can organize data by making a graph. That's what our class is doing today. On the wall in the back, it says one, gather data, two, organize the data, and three, interpret the data. We gather data by taking surveys. A survey is when you ask many people the same question. Josiah asks, what's your favorite sport? Grace asks, what's your favorite ice cream? Tiana, what's your question? I ask, what is your favorite lunch? And Logan asks, how smelly are the socks you're wearing right now? We each ask at least 10 people our question. The teacher makes Logan change his question because it's too hard to measure. Plus, it was too gross. Okay, Logan says, my new question is, who is your favorite Mexican pro wrestler? Josiah finishes his survey first. Here are his answers. That's his data. Next, Josiah makes a tally chart. He draws a line or tally mark for each kid who said that sport. Then he organizes the data in order of the most popular to least popular. Now, Josiah interprets the data. That means he says what he learned from it. I learned that soccer is the most popular. Gymnastics is second. Basketball is tied with football. One person said alligator wrestling. It was Logan, says Josiah. Grace finished her ice cream survey next. She wrote her data like this. Grace organized her data in a bar graph. She wrote the flavors on the bottom of the graph. For each answer, she filled one square going up. Then, Grace interpreted her data for the class. Vanilla is the favorite kind, of course. Chocolate is next. They also like cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip. Logan said the bacon one, Grace explained. Charlie asked the same ice cream question. So Grace and Charlie combine their data. They make sure they don't count anyone's answer twice. Then they make a picture graph. Each pi picture represents one kid's answer. After combining all their data, vanilla is still the most popular. My survey answers look like this. Logan, that's not even a real lunch, I say. Spaghetti and cow eyeballs doesn't count. But the lunch bell rings before I can ask someone else. Logan, what are you eating? I ask. He says, my favorite. Spaghetti and cow eyeballs. Hmm, looks like my data might be right after all. After lunch, I make a pie graph and interpret the data. I divide a circle, the pie, into 10 pieces. I fill in one piece of pie for each answer. Tiana, what did you learn from your pie graph? The teacher asks. 
Well, here's what I interpreted from my data. The most popular lunch is Sloppy Joe's. After that, pizza and burritos are tied. And if Logan ever invites me over, I need to bring my own lunch.